Hey guys, welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind, a channel solely focused on exposing the abundant hypocrisy of the left. You know, this right here, what we're going to talk about in this video, this little CNN interaction, this CNN clip, is exactly why it is nearly impossible to have good, common sense, honest conversations with far leftists or activist types. There's some sort of ulterior motive that seems to trump any logic, trump the facts, of course, common sense has stated, and these individuals just double down and triple down into their belief and choose to live in a feminist or activist fairy tale rather than the real world. Today's video, we're talking about female sports. You know, the WNBA, US women's soccer, and we gotta tackle some of the left-wing stances here and interject with some basic, good old-fashioned truth, logic, rational thought, and of course, science. Let me show you guys exactly what's going on. Let's take a look at what CNN and saying, and let's have a chat. All right, friends, well, you might be surprised to hear this, but in this specific conversation on Don Lemon's morning show, Don Lemon was right. Don Lemonhead raises legitimate points here and gets tag teamed for his trouble. Take a look. Until big media companies, big tech companies, advertisers invest and put them on their airwaves more I and allow people, no, 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 and allow people to see it more and gain more fans then you will push toward more equality. Okay. But if they are blocked in so many ways and not invested in as you much, guys are, they I'm don't even sexist. have a they, I know you're I not, but they don't the even only have a shot. Boy in, a, in a family of all women. I understand what you're saying. But not everybody, honestly, has the same skill. Not everybody has the same interest in the sport. I think the women should be paid more. I do. But if the but men... The, you're right that not everyone has the same skills because yeah. the women are better skilled. Well, the women are better skilled against My other job. women. The, but if the women played the men, why, they wouldn't what? be winning the way that they win. Okay, I'm not right? going to get into so, I'm but not I'm even going to get into that I'm argument. I'm just saying if Now what you just witnessed should be a little bit of a red pill moment for CNN's little Don Lemonhead. It probably won't be, but I think for a lot of people, that's the exact type of experience that makes it impossible to side with the left on cultural issues. I mean, it is just a refusal to accept basic biological facts, and it's nothing but cope. You know, this brings me to the red pill community and some of the points that they make. Now, I'm not in total agreement on all issue with Andrew Tate types and these MGTOW style red pillars, but at certain times, they make some decent points. And one piece of rhetoric that I hear quite often is that boys are generally held to account or standards, and in many cases, the same cannot be said for the opposite sex. You know, boys and men are beat down by society. When you have a problem, well, suck it up. Be a man, take it like a man is generally what's said, or, you know, just figure out your own problems. While women are generally coddled by society, society rallies in order to take care of them. And this is where almost like a lack of accountability stems from. From the CNN host's perspective, well, women's sport failing is not their fault. It's actually everyone else's fault. It's actually the lack of advertising. It's not the quality of the product. It's not the refusal for even women to show up to sporting events supporting other women. It's just the advertising. It's everyone else's fault. Well, this is such a slap in the face considering the NBA, the male players, are the biggest supporters of the WNBA. I think that's a great example, and their league spends tens of millions of dollars a year on advertising and player salary to subsidize and prop up the WNBA when they're losing money. Without the NBA, the WNBA wouldn't exist. Not to mention, whenever you're watching NBA games or college games or sports networks in general, you're constantly inundated with WNBA or female sport advertising, especially in this woke feminist era. If anything, there's an outsized, almost undeserved amount of investment and advertising budget, and still these leagues fail. And the feminist response here is, well, it's everybody else's fault. I mean, society is literally propping you up and coddling you, and it's still not good enough. You know, if a male sports league was failing, people would say, tough luck. The product's just not there. It's just not good enough. And meanwhile, we're seeing stuff like this. Fair? U.S. women's soccer team receives over $6 million because the U.S. men's team advanced at the World Cup. The United States men's national soccer team will be splitting their winnings with the U.S. women's team after their win against Iran. The men's team earned at least $13 million by winning the game. The women's team is set to receive over $6.5 million of that. 
I mean, what? I think this is the case after the contract renegotiations, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know, because of my equity or something. The men's team is now forced to split their winnings with the women's team. Even though they're not playing. The men are playing in the most premier league in the world. The World Cup. It's big money, high stakes. And they're forced to split basically half of their earnings with the US women's team because of equity or something like that. And still, these left-wing activist types are complaining. You have no grounds to complain. And even Don Lemon can see that. If you are a left-wing activist group and you're losing Don Lemon, then you know that you seriously have no ground to stand on. And the next argument that Caitlin Collins makes is that women are just so much more talented. Don Lemon hits her back with the perfect response. Yeah, they're more talented playing against other women. But if you put them in an all-male setting, well then again, it's just another disingenuous pipe dream feminist argument. And you know, I've actually heard this many times before, that women athletes may not be as strong and as fast as men, but they're more talented. It's complete garbage. If they were incredibly talented, making amazing plays and amazing moves on a regular basis, then maybe there'd be viral highlight clips all over the internet. But there aren't. I've watched the WNBA multiple times just as an experiment to see what the product's like. It's boring. It's borderline unwatchable. The simple biological fact is that women don't possess the same kind of fast twitch muscle fiber, the same kind of hand-eye coordination and reaction time, and honestly, the same kind of vision of the court. These are biological traits that men have gathered since the hunter-gatherer times, and it makes it so that male sports are fast-paced, exciting, with great passing, great moves, a level of intensity that makes it fun to watch. Female sports do not have that same level of skill and intensity. It's just not a good product, and so people aren't watching it. And at the end of the day, feminists might say, well, it's the misogynists. Men subsidize their leagues and their advertising budget. But really, the fact here at the end of the day is that women are not supporting women. Women don't go to sporting events as much as men do. I mean, of course they're present, but in a lot of cases, it's husbands or boyfriends bringing their partner. I mean, I bring my spouse to sporting events all the time. It's not that she wants to go, it's that I make her go. But that's not to say that there aren't women who enjoy sports and sporting events. There are some who do, but they're a clear minority in respect to men. Men are showing up at these events, and they're supporting the men. Women are also showing up at these events, but they're supporting the men's leagues. I'm kind of going around in circles. The point that I'm trying to make here is that men overwhelmingly support their own leagues. Women don't support female leagues. And then they turn around and have the audacity to say that it's somehow our fault that their leagues are failing. If you so vehemently believe that female basketball, hockey, soccer, whatever it is, is a great quality product, then put your money where your mouth is and buy tickets. But of course, we know that's never gonna happen because going to a WNBA game will literally put you to sleep. But I guess in conclusion, back to the initial point that I was making, what you saw here in this little CNN interaction is exactly why it's impossible to have discussions and conversations, debates with far left activist types. They're not interested in the truth. They're interested in their subjective endpoint and they will say anything in order to make their arguments and they just won't meet in the middle. And this goes from cultural issues like sports all the way to the most important political discussions that we're having about policy today. But that's what I got for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like and possibly subscribe to the channel if you guys are up for it. I'm gonna get out of here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.